Hello again. Doug, Devilman's Prime. Uh, I've put a light on because I looked at my last video. And uh, I look a little bit dark because there's hardly any light outside. Don't, it is daylight, look. It's daylight, but it's dull and it looks like it's. Yeah, it's raining. Uh, anyway, today, I uh, well, today, I've done, done two today. Because I'm greedy like that. I'm doing uh, this guy. Uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Sideways. I did say that right. Sideways. Uh, I like this figure. This was the first. I bought two deluxes for my first two deluxes. Um, and this just happened to be one of them. I bought Transformers Animate Swoop as well. Um, but I'll be doing him another day. I'll probably do all three of those in one go. Um, but yeah, so th this is te technically my first Transformers Animate. Uh, ugh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe. Because I, I, I was adamant that I wasn't going to buy it. And then I saw it for a bit of a bargain, so I bought it. Um, and plus, he's brilliant in the game. If you've played the game, you'll know what I'm on about. Unless you don't like him as a character. Anyway. Um, he had a very, very small part in the film. Because I'm not going to give too much away. Just in case you haven't seen the film. If you have seen the film, you're not on one about. Anyway, right. what was it that way? Right. Um, yeah, very cool Audi. I can't remember the name of the Audi at the minute. I know it's, it's the R R8, Audi R8. That's what it is. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. I had I I look up each character before I start talking, and then I start talking, and it all goes bye. All right, and these my brain. Anyway, cool little gimmick. Mine struggles to work sometimes. Sometimes it, it locks this pit that way. Ready? You push on the um, the grill of the car, and you push it. Right. I worked that time. Sometimes it sometimes it does it and catches that bit there. So it's, the wheels are out, so you have to separate the wheels to get that bit out. So that in turn makes, oh, well, that would make his midsection, really. So I'm not going to lie. You know, so I want to push the bumper of the car up. Revealing nothing, no engine, no nothing, because it's all, it's all made on the glass to look like there's an engine, but there's no engine. So you want to push that bit up. And you're then into, this is what, how I do it. All right. I don't care what the instructions say. I just want to take by the, the doors of the car. Just basically pull the whole thing out like so. Okay? Basically exposes everything. You then turn want to pull the side bits of glass up. Like so. Unhook the doors from the side of the car. And you have this big mess. Okay, you then turn want to flip his head up and out. There's two little side bits there just to hold it in place. And then you want to rotate the front of the car as well so that it looks like so. It all holds the head, the head piece. Because that's pretty much what, not hair piece, head piece. In place, but it's supposed to. It doesn't really. No, it still it still goes back, but it's supposed to look like it's all joined. Anyway, moving on. In turn, I'm gonna <coughs> turn the arm up and out, and pull them down, and rotate the door so that it's like so. And do the same on the other side. Up and out, down like so. And this is how I do it. I'm not expecting you to follow what I'm saying. 
You then in turn will take his little midsection piece. There's a little tab just there, I don't know if you can see it. And just push in, there's a little, little piece just there. That will, in theory, I don't know if you heard that little click. You have something that looks like this. Then in turn down to his legs, bend his leg up and out, push this bit down and pull. Look at look how tiny his feet are. Crazy. In turn, I'm going to rotate the wheel up, up and round. I forgot this leg did that. I'll tell you what, the rest of him can stay over there for a minute. Side swipe. <laughs> Sideways his leg. <laughs> okay. Yeah, mine has been doing that since I got him. One leg, the ball joint is just no good. Alright, so you want to rotate this bit up and round like so. So it sits nice and comfortably and mine doesn't want to do it. There we go. Okay, so you have something that looks like that. Okay. Saw it. I forgot it did it. I haven't, I haven't picked this guy up in a little while. Alright, so you can hear that click again. Uh, do the same on the other leg. Probably didn't even see what I was doing. There's a little tabby bit there. That the wheel pushes into, like so, and then the actual side panel comes up and round and tabs into that little hole. That's it, like so. Alright, now then, reattach his leg, seeing as it fell off. It's always falling off. And so I'm going to lift up this little bit of kibble at the back. There's two little, two little bits of just there and there. they have got a little post to sit on there and there. So it sits like that and you just basically fold the back of the car up like so. Now, apart from the actual faulty leg, because that, that, that one turns at the hip. Yeah, so it actually looks like it's dancing. It's dancing. This one doesn't. Every time you go to turn it, it pops off. Look. Turn it the other way, pop off. If anyone could tell me how to remedy that, I'll be most grateful. I'll probably just gotta loosen something. It's probably just on there a bit too tight. Um if you know how to do it, let me know. Um if you don't, don't let me know. Um, I think it's a very cool figure. Someone told me, where is it? The, the detail on this guy is absolutely crazy because he's got loads of little bits that, that look like, well, that are from a car really. Like, he's got clutch and I think it's, someone told me it was a clutch on his, there. It doesn't actually move or anything but there. Anyway, so he's got like a little spinning blade on his hand, which is cool. I think he should have had one on each hand, would have been better, but... Anyway, I don't know how much time I've got left, so I'm going to make this quick. <coughs> I've seen a repaint, which is Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Dead End. And all they've done is repaint the car and change the head. And they've also repainted some bits of the robot, making it look slightly better, but not a lot. Um, yeah, I'd say this guy was worth picking up, and and his brother, Dead End. I haven't got Dead End yet because it's not out in the UK yet. Well, it's not out in the shops that I go to anyway. Um, that's pretty much all I've got to say. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of this thing. I'll uh, catch you guys in a bit. <laughs>